two aircraft, both being flown by men who really live for flying. Raimund Riedmann at the controls of the B-25. He's a 43-year-old Austrian who's been flying since his teens. He started out in vintage gliders and he's progressed onto heavy warbirds. B-25's most famous exploit, of course, was the so-called Doolittle Raid against Tokyo and other Japanese cities in April 1942, when Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Doolittle led 16 of these aircraft off the USS Hornet for the first strike of the war against mainland Japan. Militarily, of course, the success of that raid was either, however, of the 80 crew members involved survived and returned to the U.S. The Mitchells employed extensively throughout the Pacific campaigns by the U.S. Army Air Force and the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps. They used it as a bomber, as a ground attack aircraft with strafing runs and using parachute retarded bombs and as an anti-shipping striker. They flew in the deserts of North Africa with the Army Air Force Bulls collection. Running in now, the F4U4 Corsair. The bent wing bird they called the Corsair, and that distinctive inverted gull wing configuration is just as notable today as it was when first the type flew in May 1940. It looks that way because there was a need to incorporate folded wings on... started to prove its worth. The US Marine Corps used them first from land bases in December 1942. It was our own fleet air arm of the Royal Navy who first took the Corsair to sea aboard aircraft carriers. And when the US Navy did so, those earlier maladies had mainly been ironed out. Corsair was able to outclass the Japanese Mitsubishi Zero and other enemy fighters in most aspects of combat. And the US Marines employed the type hugely successfully as they island hopped through the Pacific en route to the final Allied victory. They were used as fighter bombers in the Pacific as well, supporting numerous important amphibious landings, including the crucial battles of Iwo Jima and Okinawa. 